Welcome to Fredit for Beginners part 4. This time we're going to be looking at a couple of the files from the Fredit package itself. We've got the instructions there, then the macro, then these two files, a sample text and a sample Fredit list. So I've got those set up. I've got my sample text and I've got my sample Fredit list. So down here you'll probably recognize the first two, double spaced to single and spaced hyphen to spaced n dash. Now the third one uses another feature. If we look at the find and replace box and look at special, then we've got paragraph mark there. So that's the caret p symbol. So this is saying a double carriage return to a single. So let's try that and run Fredit. So as you can see, it's cut out the double carriage returns. In other words, the blank lines between paragraphs and has done the other changes. That's OK. So let's just undo that. And to introduce some more ideas, I've got another command here. Remember this from last time, color to color. So if we try that and run Fredit, then we've got this problem that coloration is changed, which it shouldn't be in UK English. So let's undo that again. Now what we can do is to use a wildcard to solve the problem. So let's have a look again at the find and replace window. If we click on use wildcards, then if you look down at special, then you'll find here there's the beginning of word. So if we click on that, so that uh, open triangular bracket or less than symbol is what we're going to use because it says only find this so if you look for c-o-l-o-r it will only find color if that's the beginning of a word so let's get rid of that so where's my wordage there it is um, so if we put the triangle bracket there but the only sn snag is Fredit needs to know that this is a wildcard find and replace. So before that we put a tilde, this wiggly line, which on my keyboard is um, above the hash symbol next to the enter key. So that says the rest of this line is a wildcard find and replace. So let's try that. Okay, so let's run Fredit. And as you can see it's changed color where they are individual words but the discoloration doesn't get changed. Now you may not be very good on wildcards but you can pick them up from my from the other file on the Fredit package which is down the bottom here the library and we'll look at that next time but let's just use one of those to illustrate some more points. So let's have a look at the extra bit we've got here. So let's get rid of the hash which stops the Freddy in its tracks and let's try running that. This funny looking thing down here is quite a useful find and replace. You'll see what it does when we run it. Now if you look there those number ranges which had hyphens in have now got dashes instead. So that's a, a useful find and replace that we can pick up from the library. But the point to illustrate here, if we run this again, is what happens when we run it with track changes switched on. So if I now try that, then it gets very confused. The 14 to 19 and the 40 to 77 are completely screwed up. Why is that? It's not Fredit's fault. That's simply a problem with wildcard find and replaces when you've got track changes on. So again let's undo those. So what we have to do is for this find and replace we have to add the strike through attribute so that it's not tracked. So if we try that again, run Fredit, it's not tracked but we've got the coloration on there, the font color, so we can actually see that those have been changed. So there we go and next time we'll look at 
uh, the library itself and see some of the various wildcard finder places that are available to you. Okay, thanks for watching.